Hi guys, it's Sherry here today, and I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial. But first, I'd like to talk a little bit about Ipsy. Uh, Ipsy is an organization that puts together bags or boxes, depending of full of makeup and other products such as hair masks, face masks, or nail polishes, or brushes, like makeup brushes. You may have a personal profile that you put together at the very beginning of entering the website. Um, and it's just a really cool organization to go into because it inspires people to express themselves through makeup and it also helps inspire people to um, create different looks and try new things, like new products, because it gives you different products every month. And it's just a really cool thing that I really do enjoy using because it's just fun and uh, creative and awesome way to, and an awesome way to like experiment and express yourself through makeup and it's just a really cool thing I really do enjoy using it as a um, source for new um, products to use and it's just a really cool thing that I again really enjoy using um so for today we're going to be doing a um uh rainbow eyeshadow look I think I might have done like a, a, an eyeshadow look where it was a mask and then an eyeshadow look that was my cheeks but this is just going to be the, or the rainbow look which is my cheeks but this is going to be the eyes. So I'm going to take my nose ring out so it's not in the way. Alright. Now I'm going to go in with some uh, under eye cream. Renewing under eye, under, uh, renewing eye cream by Maraud. I'm just going to apply a little bit underneath. My eyes. And pat that in. And then I'm going to go in with this Ahave Time to Hydrate Essential Day Moisturizer. And this is like my all time favorite moisturizer. Came in an Ipsy box a few months ago. And it does wonders, because I have, um, complex, or, not complex, but, um, combination skin, uh, skin texture. So it's dry in some spots, and oily in others, and perfect, and, like, normal in other ones, and other spots. So, like, this evens out my skin tone, my skin complexion, a hundred percent. And it's just a really soft moisturizer. Um... I'm going to go ahead and blend that in with my hands into my cheeks and my uh, face just to um, fully moisturize my face so there's no dry patches in the foundation that we put on. Um, so, quarantine's fun. I mean, I miss my friends, miss school, but that's like a first thing for me. I miss school. But... You know, it's also kind of fun because my summer break started early. Uh, for foundation, I'm gonna go in with this Wet n Wild uh, Nude Ivory Foundation. And I'm just gonna apply that all over my face. So, what are your guys' plans for summer vacation? Like, considering traveling is kind of a really bad idea right now. I don't really have any summer plans anymore. I was gonna go see my sister who had her baby a few months ago, and then I was gonna go see um, my like friends and stuff. But um, then you blend this out with a beauty blender. But the traveling kind of got canceled because of the coronavirus that's going around, so I can't go see my sister or my biological dad. I mean, I could. It's just not a smart idea, too. But, like, what were your summer plans? Like, where were you going to travel? Were you going to stay home? <clears throat> were you going to, um... Go to a different state in the United States? My cat, it scared me. She jumped down outside somewhere and it scared me. Cause my cats are heavy. Cause we feed them a lot. <laughs> um, and 
there's the cat. But, um, yeah, no, comment down below your, um, what your summer plans were gonna be if, uh, coronavirus hadn't come around. I'd love to know your, um, plans, because I didn't really have any plans, and I needed ideas for next summer. Um, now I'm gonna go in with concealer, and then I'm gonna use this, um, Trick and Treat Concealer by Hey Honey in the shade Light to Medium. Apply that under my eyes. I'm gonna use that same beauty blender to blend that out. My dad started work again yesterday. So, he's back at work. Um, from my cat is, no, you're not coming in my room. Not right now, baby. No. I don't want the cats in my room while I do my makeup because they try to play with the brushes and all the other makeup and then it just kind of gets ever. She's really loud. I'm so sorry. Now I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. HD powdered foundation in the shade Translucent and set this all in place. A nice big fluffy brush. Um, setting with translucent powder is a little bit harder because it's a, such a finer powder that it kind of goes into every line and crease in your face. So when you apply it, you don't want to make like weird faces. You want to keep as relaxed of a face as possible. Alright, now I'm going to jump in and do eyebrows. So I'm going to go in with this uh, Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Crayon in Ash Brown, or in the shade Ash Brown, and I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows. And I'm not going to be able to talk very much during this part because I have to focus, and if I talk, I can't focus. So I'm going to kind of be quiet at this part, but we're going to brush the hairs up. I'm going to talk through like one eyebrow and then do the other one quietly. So I'm going to take the pencil and I'm just going to draw a line underneath my eyebrow. And then I'm going to brush the hairs down. And I'm following the natural arch of my eyebrows. I had a bag of bows over there, I'm sorry. And then for the front part of the brow, I'm going to just do individual hair strokes. And then I'm going to blend that out with a spoolie brush at the end of the um, brow pencil. How many times do I got to tell you no? 
You're gonna play with the makeup and you're gonna get it everywhere. And I'm not gonna use it. So I'm gonna quickly run through the other eyebrow. Drawing the line underneath the brow. Okay, now I'm going to go in with a clear brow gel and I'm going to use this uh, Wander uh, Beauty clear brow gel and I'm just going to run that through my eyelashes, I mean my eyebrows, and this is just going to set the hairs in place, make sure that they don't move out of place, and this is also just going to set the brow pencil so it doesn't smudge and doesn't ever come off unless you wipe it off. Alright, now going in for the rest of the face, I'm going to go in, I'm going to do bronzer. So I'm going to use this Nomad Sydney Beth, Bethery palette and use this uh, bronzering shade and this highlighting shade. We're going to do a blush before we highlight. So I'm going to take that bronzing shade and bronze up my cheekbones just to add a little bit of color and definition to my face as well. So, yeah, like, you know, my friends are coming over, so I gotta get my room clean, so, like, I gotta get these videos done. Or I don't have to, but I want to get these videos done before my, or at least some of them done before my friend comes over. That way we don't, I don't have, like, a lot of things to do afterwards but um she wanted to help out with some of the videos so i'm gonna let her she will be a guest star tomorrow on my channel um and she does hair so there's gonna be an extra video on there where she teaches how to curl short hair because my hair i cut my hair and it's kind of short now and she wanted to curl my hair so she's gonna do another video where it's teaching how to curl hair and we're gonna put it on my channel And she has really long, beautiful hair. Like, it's really blonde and pretty. But I'm just kind of bronzing up my whole face, my cheekbones, my um, forehead, and my jawlines. I'm going to kind of bronze up. Alright, and then I'm going to go in with blush, and I'm going to use this blush right here from this uh, Ofra Madison Miller palette, and a nice fluffy brush, and I'm just going to apply that to the cheekbones and the tip of my nose to add color back to the face and to make it look a little more natural. So for my face, I always go for the same base look. Uh, same foundation, same bronzer, same con uh, same highlight, same um, blush techniques and stuff. So there's nothing really new about that. Um, but I always show it anyway. So I'm going in with that highlighter. And oh my gosh, this highlighter is so pretty. And it's like a pinky highlighter so it also blends in with the blush a little bit better than like a white one or a um, gold oh my gosh it is so pretty I love highlighter I love it okay 
Okay, now that I got that, then we're gonna go in with the eyes. And I'm gonna use this NYX Professional Makeup Ultimate Palette. And I'm gonna use every single color in here. So I'm gonna take a nice, where's my fluffy, my, okay, I'm gonna take a nice fluffy brush, I'm gonna pick up this pink. I'm just going to apply that on the outer corner of the crease up to the brow bone. And we're not going to put anything on the lid because we're going to cut the crease. So it's also okay if it's a little messy right now. Um, the cut crease will kind of clean up the edges anyway. So it's okay if it's a little messy. And I'm going to do this to both eyes. Well, of course I'm going to do both eyes, but I'm going to... I'm going to do both eyes at the same time so I don't mess one up. Um, I'm going to use a different brush, a fluffy brush because that brush is a little too um, loose. So it's not packing on the color like I want it. There we go. I'm going to darken up this side too a little bit. Okay. Then I'm going to go in with this orangey peachy shade. And kind of just put on a little bit to blend out that pink just a tiny bit. And then I'm going to take this yellow shade. And I'm going to apply that right here right next to that PG shade. I'm gonna take this green shade. And I'm using the same brush for all of these colors because it's just easier that way. That way we're not switching through like six different colors or different brushes. I'm going to take that green and just apply a little bit right next to the yellow. And these come up pastel colors. This is like a pastel rainbow, so it's really pretty. Um, and then I'm going to take this blue. And apply that right next to the green. And then I'm going to take that purple. And just apply that to the inner corner. Okay, now I'm going to take concealer, where did my concealer, there's my concealer, and I'm just going to apply a little bit on the, on the mirror, and I'm going to go ahead and cut the crease. So I'm going to take a nice flat brush, where's my flat brush at? Nice flat brush, pick up some of that concealer. Start. This is going to be a very quiet part too because I had to focus. But starting at the inner corner, I'm going to go all the way across and create a nice cut crease.
Okay. And then I'm going to go in with a cream eyeshadow. And this is going to be from the Colored Rain palette. And I'm going to use this cream eyeshadow right here to set that in place. And another flat brush. place like so. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to the other eye. I'm going to uh, pick up some concealer on that brush. I'm just gonna blend that out with my finger and apply that cream eyeshadow to the um, concealer once again. Like so. And then I'm gonna go in with a liquid eyeliner and create a nice wing and this is the tart tartiest black liquid line liner i'm just going to create a wing going up to the edge of the uh, cut crease Okay, and then I'm going to go in with mascara, and I'm going to use this Punk Volumizer Mascara in uh, black, and this is just going to add volume to my lashes and make them curled up a little bit more and open up the eyes. I don't want to mess up the eye look, so I'm, go I'm concentrating, so I'm going to be a little quiet while applying this. Like so. Okay. Now that we've got the eyes done, it's time to move on to the lips. So I'm going to use this QI Best Soft Matte Lip Cream, and it's this nice neutral shade. That is it. So for today's look, we did a nice uh, rainbow eye look, which I am absolutely in love with. Um, I've been doing it for like 
two, three days now, and it's just something I really enjoy doing because it adds a pop of color with more of a neutral tone, and it opens up the eyes of the mascara and elongates them with the eyeshadow, or not the eyeshadow, the eyeliner. The eyebrows are always, you know, they've always been the same. I always follow the natural arch of my eyebrow. Um, the face is bronzed and blushed and highlighted with a nice neutral lip to complement the bold colored eyes. And it's just a really cool thing. Um, I really do enjoy this look. Um, if you liked the video, please like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I'll see y'all. Uh, and uh, subscribe to see more. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.